Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to enter manual foreign currency journals and post. So before we get into that, we need to understand the prerequisites. So if you want to enter the uh, foreign currency journals, then uh, first you need to define the conversion types, conversion rate types, or we can use the existing uh, conversion rate types. So conversion rate types, are the types or uh, array types under which you can uh, create uh, different exchange rates. So some of the seeded uh, conversion rate types are spot, corporate, user, uh, uh, spot, corporate, fixed, etc. So under this conversion rate type, you can you can create a different uh, exchange rate. So under co corporate, you can specify a particular exchange rate between say USD and INR or USD and UR. And uh, under spot, you can enter a different uh, exchange rate. So the first step is to create those conversion rate types, or you can use the Oracle provided seeded uh, exchange uh, conversion rate types. And then under those conversion rate type, we need to create the conversion rates. And then we can proceed towards creating of the foreign currency journal. Okay, now let me get into the system. <clears throat> so this is what we are talking about. So in order to... <clears throat> Uh, create your uh, conversion rate types you need to go to setup and maintenance and then search so the name of the task is manage conversion rate type so these are all the conversion rate types. You can see corporate, fix, period and period average, spot, etc. So let me pick up the this one. So we'll try to enter the conversion rates or exchange rates under this uh, conversion rate type. So you can directly, this is the screen where you can see the conversion rate types. And this is where you can enter the daily rates. So I am planning to enter uh, exchange rate between USD and INR. And my ledger in the current example is Reliance USD ledger where the functional currency is USD. So I'm planning to create a foreign currency journal in INR currency. So hence I'm planning to enter an exchange rate between USD and INR for two days day. So let me see if the exchange rate is already available. So from USD to INR, today's date, today's date is April 5th. So for April 5th to April 5th, under the array type of conversion, I can click on search, see the exchange rate is already available. Okay, so as the exchange rate is already available, I can go here and then if I want, I can change the exchange rate. Or I can continue using this. So maybe in this case, just, just for uh, argument's sake, I just want to change the exchange rate. I just want to change it to say 83. As soon as I change this, so you can see here automatically this gets changed. This is the inverse exchange rate. So this is from USD to INR. So one USD is equal to 83 INR. And this is inverse rate. This is one INR is equal to 0 0.01 to USD. So you can save this. So this is a one way of creating the exchange rate. The other way would be create in spreadsheet so when you click on create in spreadsheet the spreadsheet gets downloaded and uh, once the spreadsheet get downloaded you can enter the exchange rates and once you enter the exchange rate you can uh, upload those uh, uh, exchange rates uh, you can enter the you can upload those exchange rates uh, in bulk so i'm not getting into those details so i have the exchange rate between usd and inr for this okay now let me click on done done now let me try to create a foreign currency journal create journal and this is my ledger so the ledger is already defaulted so the source is manual and uh, the journal Approval is uh, disabled for this particular source and, and hence here it says approval status is not required. So this is the general batch. So I'm not getting into the details of all the fields which I have already explained in my previous video. 
test general batch test general batch so i am planning to enter the channel in april period so that's the current open period which is already defaulted here and i can just say test journal this is the journal header and again uh, the drop down shows all the ledgers for which i have access and uh, this is the ledger which is defaulted and the category this is general category so i'm just specifying general category of adjustment so this is where you specify so system defaults the functional currency. Now I'm changing this from USD to say INR. So you can see as soon as I change it to INR, so conversion rate date, so conversion rate type gets uh, populated here. So this is conversion date is sysdate. Okay, I think as per server, it is 4.6. So that's why 4.6 is populated. So let me just change it to 4.5, which is April, fifth and conversion rate type so as we have seen like uh, for corporate uh, conversion rate type 83 was the exchange rate this is the inverse and this is uh, this is one INR is good USD and this is one USD is good INR and if I want to enter different dates or different rate if I do not want to use I can just use a spot sorry user and when I go for user I can enter my own exchange rate say let's assume I can just change enter it to 82 okay if I do not want to use the existing exchange rate i can just specify user as well and this is where you enter and you here you can see the entered currency accounted currency so let me just enter any account to be debited maybe probably i'll just take a simple scenario of salaries account debit cash account credit so <clears throat> this is my 003 company and uh, account is uh, I want to use salaries account so this is in INR so probably I just want to use uh, maybe 100,000 INR So as soon as you enter 100,000 INR, system automatically converts that into accounted currency, which is 100,000 multiplied by this uh, exchange rate. So this is in USD. So maybe in salary is for the month of March. So this is an account to be debited. Now I just want to enter the account to be credited. So you can expand this. So you get this pop-up. And here I just want to use the my cash account. So this is uh, salary's account debit cash account credit okay so let me as the general upload is not required on this journal i can directly click on post button <clears throat> so this is the process which got triggered you can just go to the schedule process and check for this particular uh, status of this particular job which got triggered <clears throat> or you can probably maybe just click on refresh here and just continue checking the status of this uh, particular patch. So here now it says selected for posting. This is my batch name. Okay, so now you can see the st uh, status is posted. So this is how you create the foreign currency journal. So before creating a foreign currency journal, ensure that there is an exchange rate available in the system. Generally in a real live environment, you get uh, the exchange rate feed from any of uh, uh, the banks uh, whatever the uh, bank for which your uh, client has a tie up with uh, or from your client's banking partner you get those uh, exchange rates so this is now generally manually entered by the users in any live environment thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you